busted. Hello and thanks for staying with us. Welcome to Political Platform. My name is Amecha Nakwe. More troubles for the ruling uh, party, APC. The party is still uh, struggling to uh, get over the crisis that enveloped it last uh, Saturday after his World Congresses. Uh, one of the groups that merged uh, some years back to form the APC, the new PDP, the group that pulled out from the, the ruling party, PDP, has uh, written a letter to the leadership of the party, uh, Odigio Yegu, the chairman, uh, giving him one week ultimatum to uh, convene a meeting where uh, issues of marginalization of the group will be discussed and possibly addressed. Uh, some say uh, it is one step, uh, one move towards uh, uh, pulling out of the party. If you recall, uh, the new PDP pulled out of the PDP and join the then opposition party, the new party that was formed. And I recall then former President Goodluck Jonathan saying emphatically that where they were going to, they will not find a seat. They will be left standing. Is it about to play out the statement created to the former president? Is it that uh, the new PDP are starting a process of leaving the party, or maybe uh, they have genuine grievances and they want the party to address them? so that they will continue to work for the interests of the party ahead of the 2019 uh, general elections. These are the scenario. Uh, the new PDP are made up of a prominent Nigerians. One of them, Atuku Abubakar, has already taken a decision some months back. He has uh, uh, dumped the uh, APC for the PDP. And going by our definition of movements or politicians uh, along party lines, uh, they are continuing with the jumpology uh, that Nigerian politicians are noted for but let's see to in fact find out if really uh, these uh, uh, politicians uh, want to join big names among them senate president uh, bukara saraki speaker yakub dogara and uh, former uh, governor of uh, sokoto state uh, aminu tambua before now the names of these gentlemen have been, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the names of these gentlemen have been uh, uh, rumored to be uh, making inroads into pdp and now this is the ultimatum uh, lends credence to uh, those uh, news making the rounds that they are one step out of the APC. It was another event at the Senate yesterday for the third time in two weeks. Uh, the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, uh, refused to appear uh, before the Senate. He says he owes nobody any apology that the, the DIG in charge of operation can uh, represent him fully before the Senate. And what the Senate did in declaring him unfit to hold office is a witch hunt and a move that is very unfortunate. The Senate must have to do an introspection. Why is many officials, many government officials uh, and senior citizens that they invite uh, looking down on them? Recall is uh, Sage, uh, a senior advocate of Nigeria and a presidential advisor who uh, told the Senate when he was invited that was not going to come and he succeeded he didn't come and heavens did not fall. Hamid Ali also dead the Senate he told the Senate he wasn't going to wear a uniform to come before them. He did that and heavens did not fall. Now uh, the Inspector General of Police is also taking his own pound of flesh of the Senate. The Senate uh, must uh, indeed uh, look at itself. Uh, are they overreaching their bounds, their powers and invitations extended to people? Uh, can they as an institution say they are doing enough to protect their powers? of checks and balances oversight within the Nigerian constitution, what can they do when public officials uh, uh, refuse uh, to uh, follow their directives by appearing before them? What are their options? They have uh, reported the issue to the president, uh, who's promised to look into it, but the uh, refusal of the IG has continued. What are the options uh, before the Senate? Ebola is again in Africa, and the Nigerian government is uh, making efforts to protect our borders. It was reported in DRC, about 17 persons there have contracted that, that deadly virus. 
It's coming at, at a time the Nigerian government said the, the Lassa fever outbreak in the country has left the epidemic uh, level. So uh, it is uh, uh, in a manageable proportion now. We hope that uh, we can, as a people, as a country, and the Africa as a continent can re readily uh, mobilize to battle this uh, deadly disease. Uh, the scourge that took place in Nigeria is still fresh in our minds. My colleagues are here with me. Ujue uh, is you're welcome to the program. Amechi, the APC really needs to work hard, very, very hard to put itself in order. Uh, it, it, yes, they tried to prevent this kind of occurrence, but it was like uh, uh, trying to use a means that might backfire on them, and that was why the president uh, pointed it out, uh, pointing, citing the law, and they had to go through this. My only concern is that uh, they probably left this process, you know, too late before, uh, embarking on it now that it's like that uh, they have to they, they, they have to do everything possible to put uh, that house uh, in order as for the uh, the NPDP well I, 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 I don't know what uh, their game plan would be at this point in time uh, they have already moved from one umbrella and picked up the broom to sweep away whatever <laughs> was remaining Maybe between they, they, them they and use the umbrella. one hand to uh, hold the uh, umbrella above their head and one broom uh, on their uh, left. Exactly. Maybe that, that would be something But whatever better move they make now, they have to reason very, very well because if they make any false move, it might brand them so negatively that they will lose their political relevance. There are people who, from jumping from one place to the other, render themselves irrelevant in the political calculation of the country. And they, they must not do that. Most of, that, most of them are very eminent Nigerians. Well, uh, some will say they are alleging marginalization, that they have not been, they've not been getting their fair share. But if uh, you take a look at the fact that Bukhara Saraki, the Senate President, and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Yakubu Dugara, belong to that group, mm -hmm. and that they are effectively in control of one arm of the government. Is it not enough? Uh, some will say, what do they want again? From this government, there are other groups. You have the CPC, uh, which many believe is in control of the executive, the president's men uh, in control of uh, uh, the juicy positions in the executive uh, arm of government, as it were. You have the uh, the uh, the Southwest group led by Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, talking about the ACN. They have also a foothold within the um, cabinet. Fashola, for instance, is controlling three uh, major. Amichi, uh, the vice president. Amici, you might with the vice president. So uh, some will say on, on the table uh, it appears uh, the post and uh, if you may call it spoils of electoral victory are evenly shared. Amichi, in any group, there is individual aspiration. There's collective aspiration. Now you talk about. I, I think that when you talk about the ACN going from. The, the, uh, uh, what has unfolded in the last three years. The only person you can really say came out of that uh, group is the vice president. Uh, the, 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 the ministers, both Fayemi and Fashola, were not nominees of Ashiwaju Bolak Metinubu. But they came from they, his own camp. They, they may come, but you see, the camp is no longer as together as it used to be. So there might still be grumblings. There are people who think that their own section has been totally marginalized. That's why the, the APC really needs to okay. work hard. Ijama Sama, one group which many will agree readily is the most marginalized within the APC is the AMPP, or Nigeria People's Party. Many expected that they will grab the uh, position of secretary to the government of the federation through the current minister of uh, Science, Science and Technology, Obunayon. If you take a look at the AMPP, uh, you discover that compared to the three other groups, they didn't get much. So if anybody should cry of marginalization within the APC, it should be the AMPP. Amechi, when people talk about marginalization in a political party, they are trying to divide the political party. If APC is one party after the coalition, we shouldn't see anybody being marginalized. They should think with one voice. Uh, I think what is happening is because a lot of persons are beginning to realize that some of them have been left behind, and that won't happen. The congresses that uh, took place last weekend uh, in Ogun State, there's a big battle between the senator who came from another group and the governor. 
Every, if you go to Delta, the same thing. Oh, if you go to Oyo, the same thing. I think this Congress exposed one thing in APC, that um, the party is not really together. Uh, what they are seeing is that four group that, that came together to form the party, there's still elements of... They still strongly strong, maintain yes, their identity, yes, their yes, allegiance. Uh, exactly. To, to this, uh, uh, the new PDP, when I saw that statement here yesterday, and I asked, Amechi, the senator, the former governor of River State, is, a, is in fact one of the, the biggest leader of that group. Well, is he aware of that statement? Uh, for what we, are, we have gathered, he's the only one that may not be aware, that may have not uh, uh, given that statement his blessing. But of course, you know, Amechi played a prominent role in 2015 election. Uh, he has also been appointed uh, uh, the campaign uh, DG for the Buhari campaign organization. And he's very influential uh, within the government. Uh, through his uh, uh, influence, he has put in a lot of people into government. So he may likely uh, not, not be, be aware on the same of page that. with I, the new PDP. And remember, we, we had a guest on our sister station uh, to discuss this challenge in the APC. And uh, on the sideline, he made a statement that most of them might leave the party. To where? And when, when uh, last month the PDP had their, uh, their neck meeting, they also made a statement that most of the PDP members that left are planning to come back, but on one condition that the name should be changed. So this statement is not... Uh, and again, the PDP <laughs> set up a committee to, to, to uh, establish the framework to uh, welcome, welcome back these people those people back. Who, who left. So it's obvious that they've already made up their mind, that they're going back to their foundation. That they've been talking with exactly. the PDP. Exactly. But I think if, if they... Like, let me quote uh, um, the former... Uh, the pastor... The one who ran as a running mate to Buari. To the Bakari just a few days ago when I watched him on one of the TV stations. He made a statement. He said, if you are calling for coalition now, you will make the same mistake that we made bringing together a party to form, uh, four parties to form APC. Because there are so many chromosomes in their head and the chromosomes are contradicting each other. Mm. So if, I, if, if we go by what Bakari said, mm. I think he is trying to say coalition may not be the solution in Nigeria. If you are going back to you, to it may to also be the solution. <laughs> yes. Conflicts are inherent in society. Okay. It's to the extent that you manage your own, uh, that you achieve a better. Uh, and, exactly. and he also he also went further to say all these things are because some persons need to be settled. There are people in the APC that need settlement. And at the end of the day, if they sit down together before the 2019 election, they might just settle this whole issue. And uh, Amichi, they talk about uh, whether uh, the, the coalition will not work because there are different groups. And uh, like what Ijama said, that uh, they have not succeeded in becoming one party. Yeah. They still have their different names and, uh, like Tunde Bakar said, different chromosomes in their heads. But you, you know that in every group, in every setup, mm. there are blocks. Mm. There are blocks you can take that out. That's what mm. politics Interest is all groups. about. Interest groups, blocks, those, that, and alliances. And it is uh, uh, on those blocks that they stand to negotiate whatever, you know, call it collective mm. bargaining and mm. individual bargaining. They stand on those blocks to negotiate their ways to negotiate power, to negotiate uh, whether you call it the pecs of all things, whatever it is. And so it doesn't really matter. Even if they had not come from different political parties to form that coalition, there will still be inside interests and different groups. Definitely. And you, they would it, always it, seek to take care of their own interests. It's not peculiar to APC. Everywhere, life is all about contradictions. I'm finding a, a consensus a among point. these uh, contradictions. To the extent that you reach a consensus, will determine the level of stability. Uh, within that group, be it a political party, even organizations, even exactly. with the family unit. Ah. You see some children closer to the mother, <laughs> some others some closer to the, the father. Other. Some even <laughs> will tell you, I'm more comfortable with my it's grandparents. My yes. So it goes on. But we continue to manage our differences to achieve this stability. Let's hear from you. Uh, after we take your mails, we'll be get in, getting in uh, Timmy Frank, uh, Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the APC, and a member of the new PDP for his perspective on the situation in his party. Thanks, Amechi. Welcome to the mail segment. I'm Amaka Okoro. I'm Mr. Aitin Yari. Welcome. We'll begin with the call of the Inspector General of Police by the Nigerian Senate. And it's coming from Emmanuel Ocharifu from Maraba in Nasara State. The mail reads, The face of between the Inspector General of Police and the Nigerian Senate is unfortunate to say the least. It beats my imagination how appointees of the government 
starting from Ahmed Ali, the Controller General of Customs, down to the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, could display official rascality on the people's elected representatives in the democracy. I'm not holding brief for the Senate anyway, but ignoring the Senate in a democracy like ours tantamounts to ignoring the people of Nigeria. Writing on the security situation, Hakim Kazim in Lagos State says that Nigeria has turned into a killing field is not news. However, what is disturbing and disheartening about this, about this is the lethargic, uncoordinated and lame response of this administration in tackling the incessant killings. The country's security and military outfits have proved incapable and incompetent of handling the situation while the killings continue. Yet our president and commander-in-chief has left for London on medical treatment. Nigeria is now left rudderless while the ship of the state is now adrift and headed to the cliff. We are all playing ostrich because what affects one does not affect all anymore. Our humanity has now gone to the dogs. We are all living in self-denial and the urgency of now to restructure and reorganize the country on the path of true and fiscal federalism. Going ahead with 2019, without objective re-evaluation of our current situation, we surely put our continuous existence in peril. May God bless Nigeria. And with that mail by Yeri, we wrap up today's mail segment. Keep sending your contributions to us. Send them through to us to political platform at yahoo.com. And thank you so much for the mail. So let's quickly welcome Timmy Frank, a Deputy National Publicity Secretary, APC, and uh, a strong member of the new PDP that has written to the leadership of the APC, demanding for a meeting uh, within one week. Thank you so much for joining us. So what uh, informed this uh, letter that uh, the new PDP wrote to the leadership of the APC? Okay, uh, I, make sure I can tell you clearly this letter is long overdue, you know, and uh, is uh, something that we've been trying to review all this while within ourselves, within the new PDP group that joined the APC and uh, first of all let me make it very clear once more again that uh, the letter that was submitted by Tao Baraje, you know for, that letter is endorsed by every member of the new PDP that joined the APC including uh, Rutimi Amechi no, it's excluding him but I know I can tell you clearly outside Rutimi Amechi, every one of us of the new PDP is part of that letter. Including uh, Governor Tambua and the Speaker, the Senate President? Well, I don't want to go into details, I don't want to go into names, but in that letter is endorsed by a group, we have a group, and uh, if you remember, you know, Kaoba Raji was the national chairman of the new PDP group that led every one of us to join. For him to come out and speak, you should know he has the mandate of the group and I, that, that's all what I can say to you we're not alone and uh, you know uh, it's practically long about you and uh, it's very important you know because you can see clearly that we've not been treated fairly in this whole thing since we started this race and this program that was exactly what we were deliberating on before we got you on the line uh, when uh, the new PDP controls the National Assembly is it not enough reward for his uh, uh, participation in the campaigns? Um, it is not enough. You remember the circumstances of how the Speaker and the Senate President emerged, you know, against the wish of the party. You know that the party really gave them that position. They fought to got that position themselves and with the help of Nigeria and the help of the Senators and members of the National Assembly, you know, so it wasn't an effort from either the government or the party or the party. So what, what exactly is the group expecting for? What what positions were they hoping to get that they did not have? Well, we were expecting to be participating in all inclusive government that, you know, will take a lot of our members and supporters. But if you can see, you know, if you can see and go to the record, of those of us that joined the new PDP today in this whole program. You can see the only two beneficiaries we can identify as of today, you know, I don't, uh, I can tell you clearly, minus Rotinia Messi and, uh, and uh, Senator 
I shall last and I can change this attitude people I can, you know, identify right now that, you know, that came from our group that has benefited. There are a lot of us who expected more, you know, but we can see today, just the way the letter was stated, you know, it's not the same with the case of the, those from CPC, it's not the same from the case of those from the AMTP, and so, so we all thought, you know, we came with equal capacity to the table. You can remember, we came in with five governors. We came in with former vice president, Atika Ubakar then. We came in with more members of National Assembly in the both houses to join this marriage. So, apparently, at the end of the day, you know, I think we're not comfortable with the way we've been treated. You can see, even within the APC, you know, those that have been harassed, why, why did you why did you wait till the dying minute it's just few weeks to a few days uh to the presidential election why did you wait till this few time months. well we just have to we were waiting we patiently waited we thought maybe things could change we thought maybe you know they will realize that yes you know we've not detected those that join from the new pdp you know we're just really trying to be patient and i can tell you clearly even from my own case, you can remember, you know, when I became the Deputy National Publicity Secretary, I was meant to be, you know, the acting spokesperson of the party when, you know, uh, when Alaji Lai Mohammed left. Some, person, some persons will say, some persons will say it's a conspiracy uh, to to cause to give challenge to give challenges or bring challenges into the party. Uh, towards the election and what do you want in this seven days ultimatum that you have given well we think and we believe that they must respect that seven days ultimatum we must go back to the table if we must if we are going to continue with all of this we must go back and renegotiate we must go back to discussion we must talk as politicians we must put all the options you know again because you can remember when we started this whole process, you know, we didn't put anything on the table. But right now, we believe from our group that, uh, you know, we must be treated equally with the CPC, the ACN, and the AMPP, you know. So, and that is why we are not doing this with any intention in our minds to run anybody down or to make sure it's possible. Uh, 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 Timmy Frank, uh, Timmy, uh, yeah. is it not also possible? to uh, uh, say that uh, you may not have uh, got what you want uh, from the party up to you now because of your own approach, which is mainly confrontational. I say, is it po not possible that uh, you, you, you have faced uh, the plights that you found yourselves within the party because of your own approach, which is mainly confrontational? I mean, I'm talking about, about the NPDP, the NPDP now, not you as a person. Okay. The NPDP, our approach is not, you know, is not confrontational. We can see we've been very patient enough. We've kept quiet for too long. And this letter is meant to have come out long time ago. But we decided to say, no, we must wait. We must see as the party whether they will sometimes change their move to embrace what. You can see from day one, you can see what happened to the Senate president. The Senate president has not been able to sleep right from his emergency day. So what are the options uh, available to you now if uh, the meeting is not convened within one week? Well, at that point in time, you know, we are going to sit down and talk within ourselves and take a position when the time comes. Is a return to the PDP an, uh, an option? Well, for now, for now, we have not, uh, we have not decided yet as a group. And we were told that some of your people are already in talks with the PDP for a possible return. Not as a group on well, an I'm individual not, basis. Well, I'm not, aware, I'm not aware of any discussion with our group or with any person in discussions with PDP to my best of knowledge. Are you carrying a former Vice President Atikwa back along in this? He has already taken the move earlier on. Well, former Vice President, you can see he left out of anger. He left, you know, because he believed he was not ready to be patient, you know, with all of this. So, yeah, he left us long, long time ago. So, as of today, we are not putting, you know, with what we are doing because now a member of PDP, we are still members of the APC. Okay. So 
whatever we are doing now, we are doing it as members of APC. Okay. Because we believe we have equal stake as stakeholders of this party. Okay, we will have to thank you so much and hope that uh, this matter be amicably resolved so that you continue to contribute to your quota towards uh, the development of your party and the nation at large. And uh, yes, and that is why we are urging the president, we are urging the party, you know, to look into the okay. issues seriously that have been raised. Thank you so much, Timmy Frank. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Timmy Frank, uh, Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the uh, APC and uh, one of those uh, new PDP members that want to uh, have a talk with the party. Join us tomorrow for another edition. On behalf of my colleagues, have a wonderful day. Busted. <laughs>